ओके सो आई वॉज जस्ट सिटिंग हियर एंड ए कमेंट केम अप ऑन द आई सी चैनल दैट हाउ मच फ्लूड वी शुड गिव इन एक्यूट पेंकेटाइटिस बिकॉज फ्लूड रिजिस्टेशन इज द ओनली थेरेपी विच हैज शोन टू रिड्यूज द मॉर्बिलिटी एंड मॉर्टिलिटी एंड एक्यूट पेंकेटाइटिस सो आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग ए स्मॉल वीडियो ऑन दिस बेसिकली देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्टडीज फर्स्टली आई विल टेल यू वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गिव फ्लूड्स इन एक्यूट पेंकेटाइटिस बेसिकली वेन द एक्यूट पेंकेटाइटिस सेट्स इन there is a immense amount of inflammatory response in the body and this causes the capillary permeability and increases the capillary permeability increases and there is a third spacing loss so your intravascular uh, volume gets depleted secondly what happens the patient is having vomiting nausea so he's, he or she is not able to take fluids also so this creates a uh, fluid deficit in the intravascular compartment which increases the chances of uh, developing acute necrotizing pancreatitis in that particular patient so the only therapy which uh, helps to improve the outcome or delays or prevents the development of acute necrotizing pancreatitis is flu resuscitation so and it should be done within 24 to 48 hours from the onset of the disease from the time when the patient starts developing symptoms so how much flu should be given so uh, there were two strategies and some studies were done that uh, whether we should give lot of amount of fluid high amount of fluid or a little below moderate amount of fluid so in higher category they gave uh, 20 ml per kg uh, fluid as a saline bolus or in collected solution bolus and then continued at 3 ml per kg per hour so uh, roughly if a patient is of uh, 70 kg so 20 ml per kg becomes somewhere around 1.5 liter bolus and then 3 ml per kg per hour comes somewhere around 210 ml so 200 ml per hour it is continued and they uh, look at the parameters every uh, resus- they look at the parameters every 6 hours or more frequently if they required and what are the parameters uh, which they um, uh, what are the parameters they observe the clinical parameters like what is the heart rate it should be less than 120 how is the blood pressure how is the hematocrit because when a patient is a fluid deficit the hematocrit rises so it should be less than 44% what is the bun level urea levels because if the urea levels are high it means the patient is still dehydrated it tends to comes down in 24 hours creatinine uh, and what is the urine output so these all parameters they observe and so this was the uh, uh, high amount of fluid therapy versus what they compared with uh, uh, with less amount of fluid so earlier we gave 20 ml per kg as a bolus and then 3 ml per kg per hour in the second group they gave uh, 10 ml per kg as a bolus and then continued at 1.5 ml per kg per hour so in a 70 ml uh, 70 kg patient so it's 10 ml per kg uh, bolus means somewhere around 700 or 8, uh, 800 ml and then continued at 1.5 ml per kg per hour so 100 120 ml per kg per hour so there was no absolute difference in the mortality and morbidity but what happened the large amount of fluid resuscitation patients uh, developed uh, more complications of fluid overload so moderate amount of fluid resuscitation uh, what we practice is we start in 1 liter 1.5 liter ml bolus and then continue with 100 to 150 to 200 ml per hour and we reassess the clinical status of the patient every every 2 hours 6 hours and we check what's the blood pressure what's the heart rate uh, how is the urea creatinine uh, ratio is developing what is the urine output so urine output can be decisive uh, can uh, will not give you a right picture because in the early stages urine output may uh, show a decrease in intravascular uh, compartment or uh, le- uh, decrease hydration but it can also be due to developing acute tubular necrosis so urine output is not a good marker to assess the fluid resuscitation status in acute pancreatitis you can rely on clinical parameters like uh, heart rate blood pressure hematocrit uh, blood urea blood urea if it is still high uh, in the, after the next 24 hours you should try and continue fluid resuscitation so that it brings comes down uh, to the required uh, range so and secondly uh, choice of fluid no, whether we should give normal saline or uh, ringer lactate solutions so 
there is no conclusive data but still some studies show that ringer lactate solution is is a little better as compared to um, uh, normal saline in acute pancreatitis per se so these were the inputs so what what is the practical therapy what we practice is give 1 to 1.5 liter ml bolus and then continue hydration based on the clinical parameters from from 100 to 200 ml per hour and reassess the patients but it's very very important the key point is whenever you receive a patient of acute pancreatitis you should aggressively treat this patient uh, and hydrate this patient because this is the only thing which is going to alter the course of uh, patient's um, uh, chances of developing acute necrotizing pancreatitis so very very important whenever you receive the acute pancreatitis patient hydrate him well and do read more about it thank you